nothing like that here at home. But no, not necessarily, but it is going to bear watching. Yeah, it's just a cluster of thunderstorms right now that could potentially become tropical storm Umberto over the next uh, day or so. Right now it's uh, pretty stationary. It's just dropping some heavy rain over parts of the Caribbean. Wind speed right now sustained at 30 miles per hour and the future cast does actually or the, the cone of uncertainty made by the National Hurricane Center does have it becoming tropical storm Umberto by Saturday morning. Uh, it doesn't look like it'll grow into a hurricane at least right now and you can see the track has it clipping the eastern coast of Florida, maybe dumping some heavy rain, uh, but it doesn't look like wind is going to be the biggest issue with this. Uh, certainly over the Bahamas, it probably is not going to bring hurricane force wind, but certainly uh, a little bit of wind is all it's going to take to really uh, cause some more havoc down there, and it's probably going to be dropping anywhere between two and four inches of rain over the Bahamas. In the meantime, yes, it is pretty quiet right now, all things considered, especially uh, what we had to deal with last night with those thunderstorms rolling through. It's been kind of a cloudy first half of the day. Did see some splash Flashes of sunshine earlier, but otherwise it's going to be pretty quiet today. Uh, we're getting a bit of a lull before another weather system has uh, us seeing more rain showers as we head into the upcoming weekend. Temperatures, they are cooling off. Many of us were well into the 70s yesterday. Right now, most of us are hanging up in the upper 60s, although Chehalis right now is at 72 degrees. And high temperatures today are going to be a lot cooler than yesterday. Upper 60s to lower 70s, so just a couple degrees warmer than where we're at right now. In fact, the next five days, we don't even have any more 70s in the forecast. Saturday, we drop into the upper 60s, low to mid 60s. Sunday, Monday into Tuesday, temperatures will likely stay in the 60s for a good chunk of next week. So hopefully you enjoyed the summer warmth that we saw yesterday. Our next weather system is starting to show up on uh, our, uh, I was going to say the coastal radar, but that's actually out of uh, operation right now for the time being. Uh, but the Camino Island radar picking up on some light showers uh, over the uh, northern interior foothills. And uh, we have a next weather system that's showing up on our satellite loop right here. I uh, see this tail of clouds right here. This is that next frontal system, which is forecast to give us a pretty decent rain as we head into the weekend. We'd like to talk about uh, the best chance for rain is going to be late Saturday night into Sunday morning. That's when this uh, cluster is going to be moving through. Maybe even a couple of thunderstorms, but this is not showing uh, the instability like the one we saw last night or especially the one we saw last Saturday, but a couple of rumbles of thunder late Saturday night into Sunday morning, not out of the question. So something to keep in mind uh, later this afternoon, just a couple of spotty showers in the forecast. It does not look like we'll see anything too wet as we head into the latter part of the evening. Some light showers start to move in north of Everett. So San Juan Island, Skagit County, Whatcom County, you guys have the best chance of seeing some light rain showers tonight. No thunderstorms, just again, it's a couple of light showers. As we head into tomorrow morning, it should be dry for most of us, but I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of sunshine as we head into early tomorrow morning. A couple of stray showers through the day on Saturday, but again, it's late Saturday night into Sunday morning. That's our next best chance of seeing some decent rain. Pausing this at 10 p.m. on Saturday, here comes that front. It's a wet out along the coast, and notice mixing in with the greens, we have these yellows and oranges, meaning some more moderate to even heavy rain moving through. Now let's fast forward to early Saturday. Sunday morning. This is seven o'clock and notice it's wet all over western Washington, seeing the rain starting to wrap up out along the coast, but this main front moving through is going to give us a pretty soaking rain. We could easily pick up a third half an inch of rain, if not more, as this frontal system moves through. And as we head deeper into Sunday, it looks like the wettest part of the day will be over, but we still have scattered showers in the forecast as we head into Sunday afternoon. So it will be rather wet. And uh, the good news with this system is because the front is passing through early in the morning on Sunday, Sunday, it's not going to have the instability needed to produce a whole lot of thunderstorms, maybe a rumble or two of thunder, but it's moving through a part of the day where uh, we don't have the heat of the day. Uh, adding to the fuel for these storms. As we head into Monday and Tuesday, more rain is in the forecast. Lesser chances on Monday, but it looks like increasing rain on Tuesday and then another system moving through on Thursday. So, <laughs> tis the season. It does look like a pretty wet stretch of weather, so uh, we'll be highlighting more the drier times on the forecast instead of the wetter times to make sure people get some time outside. Okay, and I mean, fall's approaching us. We're like, how many days away? 10? Something like that. Yeah, the 20th, 23rd. Yeah, that is 10 yeah. days away. Oh, yeah. I was just guessing, mm -hmm. so good yeah. guess. Thanks, Ben.